Brotherhood ISOs is for me. Sabretooth and Mystique are in Marauders. I don't I don't move them out. I like the traditional Marauders team in general. I've invested a whole lot into them, so I don't feel like subbing any of them out. <laughs> Although if I had to sub one of them, it would be Sabretooth. I think everybody knows that. Uh, as far as ISO 8s go, I like going with the uh, Strikers for the three uh, DPSers, which is Pyro, Blob, and Magneto. And going with Skirmisher on Toad to paint the targets when he assists. So he has a, a passive, right? It says 50% chance to assist on each Brotherhood ally's turn. On turn, if Brotherhood ally is taunting, gain one off events up. Um, oh, and then in War, he gives a whole bunch of focus to everybody, right? So the cool thing is, is, if you put Skirmisher on Toad, he'll actually paint the target when he assists. And then if they are strikers, which these three are, they get that second follow-up hit. So you'll do, say, like a basic with Magneto, Toad assists, he paints them with vulnerability, and then Magneto hits them again for another assist, which is, you know, I guess it would be whatever the factor is on this 190%. So he probably hits for about 160% damage. It's not a ton, especially against tanks, but sometimes it can make the difference between getting somebody in the red and getting them down. And to me, that's huge. Um, to me, there's not really much else I would want to do with that. A lot of people like Raider on Magneto, but to me, if you're not using all AoEs or mostly AoEs, I don't think Raider is really worth it. Uh, especially when you consider in war, you're most likely going against characters that are going to be boosted, and boosting negates crit damage um, and crit hits, right? So if they're if they block, then you're not going to get any benefit from your raider. Uh, not until you get rid of all those deflex. And since the opening move is his ult, I mean, if you're hitting into boosts, then it's not going to proc. So to me, that doesn't make any sense to put raider on him. So I, I do striker on him. I also think the uh, base damage bonuses from striker are really important for your uh, for your uh, damage dealers. So 10% damage is a lot. Look at this. If we look at if we look at Magneto's base stats, he's a legendary, right? He's got 17,000 base damage at five red, seven gold, uh, with tier 13. I haven't even tier 14 him yet, and I don't know if I will. I might, I'm not sure yet. But an extra 10% damage, that's you know probably like 1,500 or so. Maybe oh, actually, it's probably more like 1,200 because you don't get the base damage percent on red stars. And that red star, let's see, five is uh, oh yeah, it's 50%. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that means he's getting about, I'd say 8,000 damage or so, 9,000, 8,500, somewhere in there for his red stars. So then he's getting 10%. So he's getting about 850 to 2,000 uh, damage from that 10% boost on his uh, striker base, base uh, buff, right? So to me, that makes a lot of sense. With Pyro, uh, interesting thing about him is his assist actually applies another bleed. So I really like that. <laughs> Yeah, and then Blob. Blob also does a decent amount of damage. Now his his basic actually does a ton of damage, and it can apply slow, and it can also reduce speed bar and all that. Um, it's it's a really really nice one to have Striker on him, and then when Toad assists, you know, just let him follow up and do that attack. Uh, for Juggernaut, I do put Raider on him. The reason why is his ult actually does not get blocked, so it can't ignore. It can't be. Uh, it can't. They can't ignore a crit on him right for his ult and since that's a primary damage that he deals I, i've never seen healer or protector needed for him i've never been in a situation where juggernaut dies first <laughs> he's usually the last one to die if i lose <laughs> so to me it didn't really make much sense to go with anything else on him um, but i could also see an argument for um, striker on him just to up his base damage right so if you get another 10 percent on this you know it's going to be another 10 percent on your ult right since the crits may be few and far between, especially with somebody that does taunt his first turn. So, all right. So uh, if you want to, let's go use them in Blitz real quick, because this is a Blitz I don't care about. And where is my Brotherhood here? So they're at 406K. Um, I arranged them this way, but it's not, I, I mean, I've seen people swap like, um, you know, Blob to like over here or something. So he's between like Pyro and Toad and Magneto's behind Juggernaut just so that they get the deflects to stay alive. But one thing I will point out, Pyro is the one that really needs to deflect, not Toad. Toad dodges a whole lot and he gets evades and stuff. You don't have to worry about him as much. It's Pyro that's extremely squishy. Um, what would be a good, uh, good team? Let's attack this team. Oh, they don't have ISOs, damn it. Um, mm, 
go ahead and just let's attack this one. They have a lot of sustainability, so this will work. And let's just demonstrate these ISOs real quick. And uh, I can make this into a tiny little video I'll clip out and put it into YouTube. So, Brotherhood 2.0 ISO recommendations. <gasps> Hello. I haven't run into too many bad ultimuses yet. All right, so check this out. Uh, we'll do... Uh, so if I was fighting Avengers for real here, I probably wouldn't use this ult to start, but I don't really care. We'll just go ahead and do that. So he should put vulnerable. He only puts it on the first target for a chain attack. And then we're going to see here. Let me... Let me go ahead and I'm going to not target the one that's vulnerable here so that if I do get an assist from Toad, which you can see here, he did get the assist now. Um, let's just bring everybody to the Hulk. So what's going to happen is Toad is going to assist after this attack, right? He's going to put the vulnerability on and that does 18,000 damage on a Hulk. That's pretty good. And then Magneto follows it up for another t nearly 20k damage there on his ISO 8 attack. So to me, that's just easy easy money like <laughs> come on this is you know a no-brainer to me like as far as iso 8s go that's that's just an absolute must like as far as configuration goes um but you can see there pyro got hurt pretty bad by that iron uh, iron man special so i could totally see an argument for putting him next to blob instead of magneto maybe putting toad on the end i should probably make that change just to keep pyro alive an extra turn i've had him die before his ult a lot i just i never really invested much in pyro i never really liked him to be honest Okay, so next thing we're going to hope that we get the... Oh, no, we didn't get the assist from... Uh, what's his face? Um, so here, I'm just going to show here. If we do the basic attack, he's going to follow up regardless because there's already vulnerability there. And he did a 1,000 damage, but he put an extra bleed on him, right? So that's the only reason why I put Striker on him as well. Um, it's just more debuffs. It's not a lot of damage. Um, I just... I don't know. To me, that's just... It's a little bit helpful, but I don't know what else I would put on Pyro, to be honest with you. Like, you don't use Raider on him, obviously. Uh, you could do Protector or Healer if you want to try to keep him alive longer. Maybe Healer would make sense, but I don't know. I kind of like the extra attacks from Toad uh, and, and Pyro together. I just, To me, you're just trying to get him out, uh, get him killed, get him down, and be done with it, right? Let's go ahead and do a big blob attack in the middle. Womp. <laughs> Nah, I'm not getting tier 14 pyro. He's old, old meta. He's not needed anymore. All right. Um, I don't want to kill all these guys quite yet because I just want to demo this once more. Um, so I'm just going to do the basic and then put a vulnerable on Hulk. And then he misses a whole bunch. Oh, <laughs> Blob retaliated and got him. Uh, let's see. So we'll just go ahead and taunt here. And then, oh, he's already got the... Uh, vulnerability so he's gonna follow up anyway but you'll see here so he zaps him for 41k oh wow that's loud and then he follows up again for 19k so i mean that's to me that's just that's a lot of damage to get for basically a passive like ability for the most part <laughs> i love the blob attacks did you see there the blob retaliation actually removed the 15 percent speed bar from hulk because he was disrupted from the magneto special so that was kind of cool all right so we'll go ahead and do his jiggle jiggle bonk <laughs> still no assist from toad i'm getting really unlucky on these toad assists <laughs> all right let's just go ahead and zap away those buffs and then Toad still isn't getting his assist. Oh my god. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and hit this guy. And then here comes the Juggernaut ult. So let's see if we can get any of the crits to proc. Um, yeah, there's a critical hit for 78k. That's pretty good. So to me, that's an extra 20k on his uh, hit from his ult or so. 20k-ish. Um, Right, because critical attacks attack for, I think, 130% of base damage. So, um, yeah, so like 30% more from like around 50, 55k damage or so. Um, 
so like I think Raider makes sense for Juggernaut, but I could also see an argument for doing um, Striker on him as well, hoping you get that assist from Toad and then him following up with another basic attack. Uh, one thing I will mention, I did test, is that if you do use Juggernaut Striker uh, ISO 8 and you get the assist from Toad and he follows up with the basic, he will not generate ability energy. He does not do that on his ISO 8 attack or his assists. Uh, it's only when you use his basic attack that he'll get that bonus a bonus uh, energy from, from his basic. So, so that's it for Brotherhood. Um, I think it's... I think that makes a lot of sense for those three to be strikers, Juggernaut to be a raider, and Toad to be the skirmisher. Um, although, like I said, I think Pyro, you could go healer if you really wanted to, or maybe protector, but you have to get them so high to make protector useful. I just, I can't invest that much into somebody like that. So that's why I just put him as basic, I uh, put him as a uh, striker so he gets that extra basic attack, throws on a bleed, and that's about it. So, all right, that's, uh, that's my Brotherhood ISO 8 review. Do you have any questions?